Now, it just so happens that Leap Day always comes during a presidential election year because the campaign just doesn't feel long enough without it. <laughs> and we've still got a long way to go in this campaign, which means it's time for the road to the White House. <laughs> I will never be in a bicycle race, that I can tell you. Now, of course, those of you checking your calendar know tomorrow is Super Tuesday, which is 13 primaries, and it could decide the election. So for Republicans, tonight is sphincter clenching Monday. <laughs> because, and it's hard to say this, if the polls are right, tomorrow Donald Trump could secure the Republican nomination. But. <laughs> That's how I show happiness, too. <laughs> Woo! We love you! But Trump could have a problem. You see, this time it's not about something he said, it's about something he didn't say. Will you unequivocally condemn David Duke and say that you don't want his vote or that of other white supremacists in this election? I know nothing about David Duke. I know nothing about white supremacists. And so you're asking me a question that I'm supposed to be talking about people that I know nothing about. I mean, I'm just talking about David Duke and the Ku Klux Klan here, but... I don't know any... Honestly, I don't know David Duke. Yeah, Trump needs to know before condemning David Duke or the KKK. It's not like they're Muslim or born in Mexico. <laughs> he needs to think about it. Now, I recently gave some advice to Hillary Clinton after she could not give a straight answer about whether she'd ever lied to the American people. I said that that was the easiest question to answer in politics. Well, I would like to apologize. I was wrong. <laughs> this is the easiest question to answer in American politics. When someone asks you, will you disavow the Ku Klux Klan, just say yes and start high-fiving your future cabinet. <laughs> I can understand why you'd want to wait for the end of the sentence. If someone says, will you disavow the coo, they could be about to say, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, <laughs> or cuckoo kachu, and you don't want to anger cereal lovers or Beatles fans. <laughs> but once they say Ku Klux, you know what's coming next. <laughs> it's not gonna be Ku Klux Krispies or Ku Klux Crunchwrap. <laughs> of course, Trump had an answer for why he hesitated. I'm sitting in a house in Florida with a very bad earpiece that they gave me, and you could hardly hear what he was saying, but what I heard was various groups. I have a lousy earpiece that is provided by them. Yes, he blames this one on the earpiece, though I think he should take some responsibility for the mouthpiece. Also, maybe the hairpiece. <laughs> <laughs> 